long wait over your career, you had a chance to play alongside some amazing teammates, Joe Dumars, Bill Lambeer, and Pippen and Jordan in Chicago. Was there any one teammate who influenced your career the most? I guess I say nobody. <laughs> so <I said> nobody <laughs> because I, I, I actually, I, I did my own thing. Yep. I did my own thing and it's like, you know, it's like, I got to the point where it's like, I had to focus on the game of basketball, you know, instead of like thinking, thinking the game, focus on the game of basketball and understand it and learn how to play basketball as, as I was going along. And once you get into it, when you're around for two or three years, maybe four or five years, and the average player don't last more than three years. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I, I lasted 13 years and um, won five championships and, been, and was in the finals eight times. And it's, it's, it's amazing, man, it's amazing. So not, I can say no one, I just did it myself, man, okay. because, you know, there's been a lot of players. Mm -hmm. Beyond the championship titles, what were the most memorable moments of your NBA career? Really, <laughs> it's actually not even on the court. It's not even on the court. It was the fact that my my daughter actually came and saw me play one game. That was it. I mean, actually, if you had to focus on one thing, I mean, and it, it was awesome just to see her sitting there. That was it. That's it. Now, along the way, you had a chance to stand alongside Hulk Hogan as part of the NWO. What was the wrestling experience like for you? I mean, Terry. <laughs> Terry. Uh, yeah, me and Terry, we were good friends. We were very, very good friends. And um, and it's amazing that um, this guy has, uh, he's one of the few guys in the world that's an icon in, in the sport. I mean, all over the world. I mean, he he made wrestling. I mean, he made WWE. He made it. And, um, and it's just, uh, it's difficult to see the fact that he's, should be like the owner of WWE, but mm -hmm. but uh, he's made a, a big uh, comeback in his life. So you mm -hmm. know, after the divorce and stuff like that. So like I guess we talk all the time. He's a good guy. Celebrity Apprentice is coming back soon, and you're making a repeat appearance. Beyond that, what can we expect from Dennis Rodman down the road? You know, for me, it's the sky's the limit. You know, because everyone said, everyone's always asking me, "What do you do?" I said, "Well, you know, I just stay alive." <laughs> stay living, you know, so, but you know, but it's like you can't get me out of the picture for some reason, and uh, I, I don't make, I don't make a point to be in, in front of the camera, I don't, I try to get away, mm -hmm. and uh, for some of the other reason, I'm just, I'm around always, and um, for me, it's more like, I got my new uh, children book coming out, yep. and um, that's going to be a challenge, and uh, people see a different side of the intro. Yeah, what what, uh, what drove you to do the children's book? How did that, how did that come around? Well, um, it's just more like I relate to I relate to kids a lot. You know, I just I, I was been a kid at heart. Even to the, to this day, I'm a kid, man. And I keep forgetting that I'm my age. <laughs> so it's I keep forgetting that. And people say, "Once you at your age," I said, "Well, you know, you know, only only go around once, right?" <laughs> so you might just live it to the fullest. But uh, I think the kids understand when they read my book and um, all the Kindles and stuff like that. They'll, they'll see that how things are, are today and how it was back then. Dennis, I'd like to thank you for your time today here on Big Win Asks. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate you coming up to Vancouver and wish you all the best of luck in the future. Good luck, man. Good luck, brother.